I'm a songwriter and I'm a gospel artist. I've been singing right from when I was very little. And my mom has made me grow to love God. And every day I get to love God more because right from when I was little, I was always taken to church. I was involved in everything singing, anything music. I really loved it. And I also enjoy writing songs a lot because the Holy Spirit had actually blessed me with songwriting, with the gift of songwriting. And also, I have a little experience in baking and uh, fashion designing too, because I also got exposed to that in secondary school. And that's just... Okay, in the last few years, it's been music, 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 music. All my life, it's been music. Though every other thing adds up, but music has been the basic, has been the main thing. So I used to work with gospel artists. I used to be a backup singer. And I also do go to studios to do, you know, backup sessions, BGVs and all. And for like, uh, in the last five years, I was actually with a particular gospel artist. You know, we traveled around with him. I think that was like three years. Then before I finally settled to be in the church choir permanently, where I did it full time. I started doing music full time. So yeah, that's, that's actually it. And here I am now. I was born in Kano State, but we left Kano State to Abuja while I was still very little. So I can really remember more of me being in Abuja. So uh, my mom, like I said earlier, is the lover of God, a lover of God also. And she took me to church, took us to church and got us involved in several church activities. You know, we were in the music. I was in the choir right from when I was very little up to my teenage age. I went for competitions, a lot of musical competitions. So I started getting a little exposure from when I was very little and Whenever we go for competitions like that, we always came out top notch. So the excitement that everything was really beautiful, doing music, everything was just amazing. You know, it kept on encouraging me and my mom too, always made sure it had to be God, God first. So I, somehow my mom helped shape me from being involved in anything worldly, even in the way I dress, everything about me. My mom is very, she's a lover of God. I can't, I can't overemphasize. And uh, the church I presently attend is the Commonwealth of Zion Assembly. Though the church I used to attend before that was All Christians Fellowship. That was my family church and still my family church, All Christians Fellowship Mission, ACFM. But presently I'm in the Commonwealth of Zion Assembly, COZA. And it's a church of excellence and spirituality. It can't be overemphasized. My pastors are amazing. My mom is amazing. God just strategically placed a lot of people, a few persons, not a lot, a few persons in my life at every journey, every part of my life, every aspect of my life. And it helped me all through because somehow, even when whatever it is, maybe a little distraction from friends or, you know, whatever it is, tries to pull me the other way. Somehow God just brings me back because I have this consciousness that this is how I was raised and I don't want to disappoint my mom, despite the fact that I don't want to disappoint God. And presently, my senior pastors are really helping out too, because they help me with instructions, spiritual instructions. They guide me with the teachings from church, everything. God has really helped in shaping me. Being signed to Easy Concepts is a very big deal for me, because I know my church actually, my senior pastors actually always had the flair to know you know, not to tie us down. They always had this, this feeling of trying to help bring out that gift in you, help you in every way possible. So the church was a very big platform for me to express my gift. And my senior pastors gave me that privilege a lot to express my gift. Then coming to being signed by Easy Concept was like another dimension of it. Like, because Easy Concept is into this business fully. You know, so and their exposure, their experience in the past years, you know, they've handled several artists that are really doing well in the gospel field. I've watched each and every person that has been in this record label. I've watched their lives, how their lives moved from 
the general assignment, even for easy concepts, I believe, and for myself, is to spread the good news to all generation, you know, to, to the ends of the earth, to spread the good news. And this is a very big platform for me to be able to carry out this assignment and carry it out properly. And one thing I believe also, like my pastor do say, he said, for every move of God, there is a sound. So I believe through me and with the help of Easy Concept, God has prepared a special sound for a particular move. I don't know what it is God wants to do for this generation and generations ahead, but I believe strongly that there is a sound, a new sound coming from these projects that are going to be carried out in years to come and even from right now. And I believe that God has a very big intention for my generation and the generations ahead. Because if you look in the world now, a lot is going on. A lot of youths are being you know, pulled to the other side. But the general assignment is to bring them back into this assembly, bring them back into the assembly of the saints, bring them back into the kingdom. So every song we're going to be doing is songs that are based on the kingdom that are going to spread the gospel, that are going to encourage and going to build, stay up the faith of every individual. So I believe with the help of Easy Concepts, everything is going to spread so fast because I've seen, we've seen their results, a lot of results, you know, a lot of testimonies, you know, healings, deliverances, a lot. And even lifestyles that youths want to pick from because so many of Easy Concept artists are role models for a lot of people in their lifestyles generally. And that's a lot. And I'm trusting that God is going to do the same with me with the help of Easy Concepts. Just like I said earlier, for every move of God, there is a sound. And I trust that gradually while I embark on this journey, God is going to keep opening me up to a lot of new things because I can't fully be in it yet. But God is gradually opening me up to it. And I trust God on this journey. And I believe that for this generation and generations to come, God is going to pr produce a sound, a unique sound through me that is going to stand the test of time, that is going to bring people back to Christ. Because that's the basic assignment to draw men into the kingdom. So I believe that God is going to produce a sound of revival through me. Bring, I'm going to... In a few years, God is going to bless me with, you know, lots of inspirational songs, lots of spirit-filled songs, lots of songs that are going to help the people to express joy in the Holy Ghost. And one thing I really trust God for is not just people being healed, you know, delivered and all that from maybe sicknesses or oppressions, but also from depression. So I'm really trusting God for, for an anthem. Songs that are going to be an anthem that is going to be sung everywhere by every tribe in every nation. Even lang people that don't understand the language are going to sing the songs because somehow it's going to be a blessing to them. Somehow. I don't know how, but by the help of the Holy Spirit. So I'm trusting God for songs that are going to cause revolution by the help of the Holy Spirit. Okay, so for every youth, every teenager out there, that is going through whatever they're going through right now. I'd like to encourage you to just stay on course because I believe that success is being at the center of God's will for your life. So if you're not at the center of God's will, it means whatever you're doing, it's just going to be a mess. And you don't have to rush it. You don't rush processes because if you rush it, you would have to go through it again. So there's no way you can rush it. So I'll just advise that while you're going through whatever you're going through, just know that God is training you. God is building you up for something very big. And while you're in this process, I'll advise that you sow, sow seeds. I'll advise you help people. I'll advise that you serve in whatever denomination you are. I'll advise you give your best, give your best. And make sure you're doing it with all of your heart. Because another thing that is very important is the state of your heart. Don't do it for eye service. Don't do it to, don't do it to prove a point, but do it all to glorify God and do it with God in mind. And I assure you that the end is always going to be beautiful. I'm very sure of that. It's going to be beautiful. Thank you. To my family, to my friends, to my supporters, to my fans, I would like to say thank you very much. And I love you all. Thank you for your support. Thank you for believing in me because that gives me 
every reason to want to do better, to want to push harder, to want to make God proud and also to make you proud. Thank you very much for your encouragement. Thank you for your amazing comments every now and then. Thank you. I love you all. Yeah.